What is up guys, Amp here, and I'm bringing you some Team SWAT today. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. But it's on Sword Base, and this is probably the map that I can consider the bane of my existence. This map is a bitch. Like, I, you don't even understand. But first off, oh my god, Amp's posting on a Tuesday again? That's amazing! Yeah, I'm posting on Tuesday uh, for this week and next week because I have enough gameplay too, and I'll probably have my Xbox by Friday, so I'll be getting more gameplay at that point. So I'm trying to get rid of this stuff that I have sitting here, and might never use otherwise. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. It's not its not like this one's going to be helping you out a whole lot unless you play SWAT every, all day, every day. Um, so yeah, I really have fun with SWAT and Halo Reach. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's a lot more fun than uh, Halo 3's SWAT. Um, Halo 3's SWAT was alright, but the VR spread could really just destroy you um, in in that SWAT. Um, so I really like the consistency, well, consistency, quote unquote, of the DMR, and uh, I like. I've gotten really used to using it, and SWAT is helps with that, um, getting the headshots off. So yeah, I'm already on a killing spree. Which, I mean, it's SWAT, so it's not like it means a whole lot. Except that you stayed alive long enough to get five kills. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, DMR is definitely really a perfect weapon for this uh, for this game type. I really think that uh, it's, it's a good tool to use instead of the BR. Mainly because in Halo 3, that was the big thing. In Halo 2, SWAT was just fine. That's kind of where it came to fruition, mainly because multiplayer really started it with, with Halo 2, um, online multiplayer that is, and so with that uh, hit, what is it, hit scan, DM, or I'm just screwing up words today, with that hit scan VR, it was really nice to uh, just pop off some headshots. So with the DMR, we get the same thing pretty much, except single shots, so you only need that one shot to get the kill, and it, it's really satisfying when you get it. So, moving on, it's... Like I said, this isn't really like a big competitive gameplay, so it's just me kind of destroying some kids. Like you'll notice sometimes my teammates will be com all dead or something, um, and I go in there and kill all the guys that were there, <laughs> because it's just too easy. And yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm an ass. Oh well. So it's just a lazy day for me. I got a break uh, in class and said what the hell we put up a gameplay and I decided to choose a SWAT because you know I went positive 15 this game so it's a pretty good SWAT game I mean two of the guys did end up quitting out which you know I'm kind of iffy about like posting gameplays where kids quit out because um, in some ways it makes it harder uh, which people don't even realize most of the time but in some ways it makes it a lot easier and so Doing posting a good score when two guys, when two of their teammates aren't even there, um, just doesn't seem as meaningful to me, uh, unless they quit out on your team, which, you know, in perceptively it makes it the gameplay all that, that much better, at least to the audience, or at me as an audience member, um, to other camp commentaries. But you know, I, I said, like like I said, it was a really good game for me of SWAT, and I said, what the hell, I'm gonna put it up. And right there, I'm not sure what happened. I just spammed it too much. <laughs> oh well. That's that's one thing that I mentioned about SWAT is that like being aggressive in SWAT. Like I'm a very aggressive player. You guys have probably noticed that from a bunch of my commentaries, including Call of Duty stuff. But I just rush in there and try to get things done. Um, I'm also the kind of the support guy, so whenever I am aggressive, I'm aggressive with the teammate. Uh, most of the time, uh, sometimes I'll just be stupid and rush in. But I'll mention that to you guys so you can understand my mistakes, which is usually obvious because I died. <laughs> but you, when you're being aggressive, especially in SWAT, because you, you're you're one shot already, uh, you really got to be smart about it. You can't just rush in blindly and uh, get a triple kill. <laughs> but yeah, you really got to make sure you concentrate on what you're doing and um, make sure that it's right. So, but like I said at the beginning, sword base is kind of like the bane of my existence, at least in Halo Reach. 
Um, there goes another guy quitting out. This space, this, I said base, this map is just so aggravating in any team game because once a team gets control of either side of the top of the map, it's pretty much just game, set, match. Like, there's no, it's so hard to break a setup on this map specifically. Like, on other maps, you know, it setups are still hard and that's part of Halo, but this map is just aggravating so aggravating especially if they end up getting the pro pipe or the grenade launcher if you guys haven't heard that lingo but yeah this is what i mentioned earlier the all my teammates i think they all go in there and they just get destroyed and then i walk in and you'll see what happens <laughs> but uh yeah the for sword base obviously there's two two sides to the top and you always want top control pretty much the, every time every time you have a height advantage you're pretty much going to win so top control is either this side, which is yellow side, I mean, like yellow lift side, and the other, this side that I'm running to, which is red lift side. Now, on this map, this game, pretty much, I in SWAT, you can just completely dominate with one player. Uh, so I just stay here on red side most of the match. You'll just see me watching these two couple routes, and you can just dominate the entire map by yourself, which is awesome. But that's because it's SWAT. Anyways, this game's wrapping up in the 40s already, and I just want to go over a couple more things before we go. First off, uh, my main YouTube channel, Amplified Silent 00, uh, where I post montages and stuff, recently got suspended. I'm working on getting it back, but I probably won't be doing as many uh, montages over there. So, But if you're interested in watching gameplays, which I'm not going to commentate on, just go ahead over there and I'll be posting up gameplays of friends or clips from friends, that sort of thing. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, head over there once I get it back up. After that, um, I'll be doing some posting on other commentary channels like Gameplays 24-7. That's going to be new this week. Uh, as well as uh, Game Reviews and More. I'll have another gameplay up over there. So look out for those. They're actually gameplays I've had on this channel already, but redid them for those channels. So check them out anyway. And make sure to go down below, look at all my links, like Twitter and all that jazz. Ooh, that's a nice frenzy. And make sure you like the video, comment, and I will answer all your questions. Any questions you have for me, just go ahead and comment below. Bye-bye.